Hi, this is Doug Snow. Today we're doing a limousine company. We're doing something that I don't do that often anymore, and that's a vinyl top repair. Uh, this is wind damage. An awning came and scratched the side of the Landau top and put a couple holes on the back of it. So let me show you the before. This is the before the holes in the back. And that's the after. Let's look at the sides. Here's the scratch on the side. And that's what it'll look like when I'm done. First thing we're going to do is the back of the header. So the first thing you want to do is you want to clean it. Now we, we use a Z7 matrix, a Z7 cleaner. See how dirty that is? It gets oxidation and all kinds of different things on there. So just make sure you uh, clean it up real good. Uh, you want to heat it up and flatten the surface. Uh, there can be concaves, just no bumps. All right. Once it's perfectly flat, then we want to take mesh and we want to cut the mesh to the proper size. Uh, once it's cut, make sure it fits properly. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. All right, before you put it on, you want to take some compound. You want to fill in the concaves uh, and then rub in a light film. Uh, this film is what the uh, mesh is going to stick to. So that'll hold it in place. Then you can put your Teflon mat on and iron it flat. Don't worry if it doesn't completely go down the first time. You're going to be applying a second coat of compound to it. Uh, when you're doing that, you're literally going to rub it into the mesh and on the vinyl top. You're going to iron it again. Here I am. I'm rubbing in the compound now. Uh, and uh, once it's pretty flat, you're going to iron it again. When you iron it the second time, it should be pretty glass smooth. If it isn't, just repeat this process until it's glass smooth. Temperature is critical on uh, these tops. If you overheat it, you can ruin them. Uh, so always remember in the class about density matching and about heat testing. Uh, so that you know the proper temperature and what the vinyl is supposed to do under what temperatures, which we teach in the class. So again, we're going to iron it flat. It should be glass smooth this time. If it is, then you're going to be pretty much done. We're just going to spray spray grain on it. So what I'll do is as soon as I cool it off, and remember to always cool it off or you'll pull the vinyl up with the Teflon or with grain if you're using grain. When it's dry to the touch, you can pull it up. If it's smooth, go ahead and do some color on it. That'll really tell you if it's uh, glass smooth or not. If it is, the next thing you want to do is spray a spray grain. Now spray grains, the ones that I use, a matrix uh, spray grain, is a water base. And when you're drying it, just make sure you don't get it too hot that it boils the spray grain. Because once it's boiled, it's no good. It won't work anymore. You have to remove it and reapply it again. So it looks like it's pretty close to being dry. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot some color on it and uh, hopefully that will finish the repair. On this one it went very quick. It was a very simple job. It went very quick. The customer was very happy. There's the before and there's the after. Okay, let's look at the side now and see uh, what we're going to do with that. Uh, on the side here, Again, you really want to clean up all the uh, silicones, the oxidation, uh, everything that's on it so that your repair and your die will hold properly. And again, I use Z7 uh, Matrix Z7 Cleaner. Uh, this one, I really believe with just color, would work. This is one of the few times you'll see me use an aerosol. Uh, the color bond uh, Ford Black is the perfect color for this. Uh, obviously, it is a Lincoln, uh, but it's an absolute perfect match. Uh, I'm gonna do one more quick coat. But that's all I did to this: is I just cleaned it and dyed the bat uh, the side. And you take a look at it. You tell me. 
that to the side. And it's pointing out where the scratch was. And this is the back. Now, if the side didn't hide, I would have sanded it flat, possibly ironed it flat, and then used a spray grain on it. But I did not do that on this one. I strictly used color.